It's the grandson of Right Thought. It's high time that all of you nations arise out of your sleep and wake up to the truth that there is one God, the same God you all heard of, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. It's high time that all you nations submit to this fact. No matter what you look like, no matter what your race is, no matter where you come from, there is one God and one true God. And he is going to tear down all of your idols that you have all built up in his place. He is going to rip them down one by one in front of your faces, lest you repent and submit to the throne. It's really that simple. People are all going back and forth about race and about cultures and all this other. There is one true God. His name is I am. And he is the God of us all. Because when you speak your existence out, <laughs> you say I am. No matter what language you say, when you introduce yourself, I don't give a damn where you from today. When you introduce yourself, you introduce yourself as I am so-and-so. So all of us, and when we take that breath, we are taking the Abiyah's name. Now, are you taking that breath in truth? Or are you taking that breath in a lie today? A sister said it very well in one of my comments today I was reading. On one of my videos, she, she put a comment. She said, it's about the coat of many colors. Regardless of what you look like on the outside, that's the truth. Regardless of what you look like on the outside, are you rocking that coat of many colors today? Are you reflecting the truth today? We were told to let our light shine, the coat of many colors. Now you see the chakras of the body, all those colors of the rainbow, those energy centers of your body. Are they reflecting truth? Your root chakra today, is it reflecting the truth? Zeal, passion for Abiyah's truth? Love? Or is it radiating lust and lower passions, lasciviousness? Because that's reflecting the beast and not reflecting Christ. What he used his root chakra for. You see? When you see that passion rage up, when that Ruach hits and you see a passion, that passion rays up in a, in a vessel of the Most High Yah, that's the root chakra being activated. That red color. Right, uh, righteous indignation, we call it. Now you're reflecting Christ and his truth if you're casting down wickedness. But if you're using that root chakra to do lust, then you're not reflecting Christ, you see? So your coat of many colors ain't shining. It's dull, it's dim, it's out. The light is out. Your heart chakra, is it reflecting Christ's heart? Or is it reflecting the image of a beast? heartless, cold, that light is off in your heart. So that green color of your coat isn't shining at all. You see? Your throat chakra, is it speaking the word of the Most High Yah? Or is it speaking lies? A double-edged tongue, a double-forked tongue, I should say, and not a double-edged blade. You're reflecting the beast and you're not reflecting Christ's throat chakra. So that that your, your light isn't turned on. It's not shining. Your coat is not shining. Do you see? You don't have a crown of life. So your crown chakra is not open. He says, he who overcomes, I shall give a crown of life. His crown chakra shall be open. That's the purple. They call it the crown virus. <laughs> Do you see why now? Somebody's been crowned on the earth. Someone's been anointed. Crown chakra has been opened and the golden oil has been poured into. When you read Zechariah, you're going to read of two olive branches, two olive trees standing next to a golden candle, candlestick, a menorah. Two olive trees and the golden oil is poured upon them. And Zechariah says, who are these two olive trees? 
And the angel says, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole world. Two anointed ones. Two anointed ones. The golden oil has been poured on them. See? The golden oil has been poured on them. Through their crown chakra, they've been crowned. So, your coat of many colors is in alignment and is all fully activated. Your sacral chakra, do you have bowels of compassion? You see how the scripture is telling you all these things? Bowels of compassion, your sacral, or, or are they, are you stingy? Are you um, quick tempered and, and not compassionate at all? You have no empathy. So then your sacral is closed. You have no bowels of compassion. So do you see? It's about bringing those chakras into alignment with the truth and not in alignment with a lie, which is the beast. Your temple. Now, if you think I'm joking about this, when you read in the scripture, you read about Solomon's temple being built, then Solomon's temple being destroyed and Herod's temple being built in its place. And then when you look at Herod's temple, it doesn't look like Solomon's temple. It's not built with the same dimensions. Why is that? Because Solomon's temple reflected the, the, the image of a man. Herod's temple reflected the image of a beast. Herod was an Edomite. Do you see? Who wants to keep you in the lower passions of the flesh. Using the chakras of the body to create wickedness and death in the world. That's what Esau uses those chakras for. So he's try, he tries to get you to reflect his image of the beast. You see? Not wearing a coat of many colors. <laughs> and so that's why those people that you see, you say they're dark. They have no light in them. You see? So it doesn't matter what nation you come from. Do you wear a coat of many colors today? Because that's what we are interested in gathering up today. Those who wear a coat of many colors, those who have bowels of compassion, those who have righteous, righteous indignation for the truth, those who speak the words of Abba Yah in truth, those who are listening to the still small voice, which they call the third eye chakra, is where you go and when you listen to the still small voice get the instructions of the most high to take your request to the most high your secret place he calls it go into your closet he calls it your third eye chakra is it in alignment or are you having what does the bible say vain imaginations of wickedness in there one of the things god hates vain imaginations Going into your closet and thinking of wicked things to do. That's what this is about. It's, it's about set, building the temple of the body. So the branch of righteousness is going to rebuild the temple. Your body. He's going to tell you how to do it. And I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. It's about bringing those feelings you feel into alignment with the truth. That's what those sensors that are going off in your body are letting you know. We call those the chakras of the body, energy centers of the body, in other words. The seven spirits of the Most High that are breathed forth. Seven living messengers, angels, which means messenger in Hebrew. There are messengers sent to the body to speak to the body. Are they not? Now, when we say seven, uh, the, the, woman who rides on the beast the seven heads this beast with seven heads seven wicked spirits seven unclean spirits or as the bible calls them seven deadly sins y'all following this you have changed the seven chakras of your body into alignment with jezebel's energy so jezebel is all about lust if you don't believe it read what she did when her husband king ahab wanted a vineyard she said, what are you sitting here potting about the vineyard for? Just kill the man and take it. She killed the man and took the vineyard and gave it to her husband. Said, here, you can have it now. She don't give a damn about nothing. 
but getting more, 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 more. She was dealing with Elijah the prophet. She told Elijah the prophet, this day, this time tomorrow, you'll be a dead man. Even though she, she ended up dead. But you see what kind of spirit that is? That's what her children are under. See? Lilith's children. Demonic spirits. That, that don't have the coat of many colors. You see? They don't wear that. So we're rebuilding the temple now, which is your body. We're reconstructing it. That's what the 40 days was about. And that's how you come out strong in the spirit. See, the 40 days is about reconstructing your temple, building it up again in truth and away from the lies. All of the energy centers of the body are now fully activated and in alignment. And so when you come out, you come out strong in the spirit. And then you can tell others how to rebuild the temple, which is what I'm doing today. It says to the branch, the Gentiles are going to seek to him. So Gentiles are you Israelites that didn't know you were Israelites for one reason or another. Maybe it's because you don't physically look like an Israelite. So you don't know that you are one, <laughs> but you feel like it. You're walking around like, man, I resonate on that, on this vibration, but I know I don't look like an Israelite, but I know I resonate with that truth. Well, then that's because it's spiritually who you are. You see, what does it say about the most high? He's invisible. He's invisible. He's a spirit. So those who worship him are, are also invisible because they are spirits. They worship him in spirit and in truth. So they are invisible. That's why he says, judge not with outward appearance. Guys, if he wasn't invisible, then why would he tell you not to judge by what you see with your eyes? The thing that was in David, could you see it? Not until it manifested in front of everybody when he killed Goliath. But that spirit that was in him, they didn't know it. Samuel, a prophet, didn't even know it. When he saw David's oldest brother, Eliab, he said, Surely this is the Lord's anointed when he physically saw him. And Abiyah had to tell him, Samuel, Abiyah judges not like man judges. For man judges with outward appearance, but Abiyah judges the heart and the reins. The things you can't see, the invisible things. Y'all don't understand that? When Goliath, all of Israel was afraid of Goliath. They ran from him. David ran toward him. He ran toward him, it says. Goliath said, come on then, nigga. I'm about to give your flesh to the dogs. David said, this day, I'll be going to give you into my hand and I will give your flesh to all the fowls of the air. Now bring your ass on. And when, and when Goliath took those steps toward David, David ran, it said, toward Goliath and slayed him. Y'all see? So Abiyah knew that was in him. The spirit. What did it say when he anointed him with the oil? The spirit of the Lord came upon him. Just like Zechariah said about the olive branch, the olive trees with the golden oil. The two anointed ones. The two sticks. So did Joseph wear a coat of many colors? Uh-huh. See how there's two sticks? Now, Rachel is Joseph's mother. See, that's one line. Judah is Leah's son. So that's the other line. Those are the two sticks I keep talking to you guys about. The same two sticks that Abba used in the beginning when he had Abel and Seth. Now, do you know why he says his, he came into his own and his own knew him not? Because he is a set apart spirit, Abel. So that would be like Seth having children and then who Abel they never met and then Abel was regenerated and he's walking around and they say, who is that man? That's what they would say to, to their father, Seth. They would say, who is that? Seth would be like, I don't know. <laughs> Let me ask my father. Hey, Adam, who is that man? He would be like, that's your older brother, Abel. Children, that's your uncle, Abel. Their father would have to reveal that. Don't you see? So he came to his own, his own knew him not. So the father would have to reveal him to his own family. Y'all don't see how... I this story has been going about Abel <laughs> you see how everything is in alignment with that set apart person righteous 
Abel, I'm going to redeem. See, redeem means to call back, to bring back. I'm going to redeem, require all the righteous blood from this generation, from Abel all the way to Zechariah. All the way. So wherever it's been spread, the blood, the righteous blood, that's wherever it's been spread on the earth, it's going to be redeemed back. Do you see? So it's high time that all of you who have that spirit resonating with, with the truth in you, you're yearning for the truth now. The call has gone forth. You're called. Well, then come on back home. Don't be in your feelings about the truths that you hear. For instance, I'll give you an example. You may so-called look like you may look like a so-called white person. So you've been raised thinking you're white. You may be white. So whatever the words, whatever words you guys want to put on it, a white so-called white person. Now, let's say you're an Israelite by blood. <laughs> so then say you hear somebody like me talking and you hear me talking about the, the uh, injustices and the, the destruction that has been caused by the so-called white race on the earth. If you're in your feelings and not in truth, then you'll hear that and you'll say, Oh, man, that guy, man, this isn't true, man. What the fuck is talking about white people like this? All oh, the fucking devil. Instead of coming into truth and being resonating in truth and not in your feelings and saying, Look, my spirit resonates with the fact that I'm an Israelite. So I, 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 I resonate with that truth despite hearing the injustices and the wrongdoings of, of the people that... I am a part of physically or as the scripture says Israel by the flesh because all Israel is not Israel you see so all the people that look like is Israelites flesh in the flesh are not Israelites so then that goes for all the other nations as well you see what it uh, I would say about Abraham you will be a father of what many nations <laughs> The father of many nations and he's going to bring all Abraham's children back into Abraham's bosom back home again because that he's also playing out the father that's why his name is Ab Raham Ab father of many nations like Abba he's playing out Abba Yah y'all have to get hip if he's not playing out Abba Yah then how come he had to lay his son on an altar to sacrifice him and be willing to do it in other words, he had to be willing to do it because he's playing out Abba Yah. You see, and Isaac is playing out the son who was slain, who was Abel. Y'all don't see it? <laughs> he's playing out Abel. Now watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Did Adam get a son in Abel's place or a son that was appointed in Abel's place? Yep. Now, what did it say about Abraham? Abraham said, if I have to sacrifice my son, I believe that Abba Yah will give, either give him back to me or give me, or, or bring him back to my life again. Bring him back from the dead. Did y'all hear that? That's what's written in the scripture. His faith, he believed, wait, Abba gave him to me by promise. So if I kill him, the Abba has to resurrect him and bring him back to, to me. That was his thought. <laughs> So this is the same story being played out by the righteous blood. If you are of righteous blood, then you have taken the marks. <laughs> You've suffered the marks. You see? So it doesn't matter what nation you come from. It doesn't matter what you physically look like, like I just said. You have to be able to accept the truth. It's just like when I'm going in on so-called black people. The true Israelites. By, by the flesh. When I'm talking to them, I'm talking to them about all the wickedness they do. And if they can't accept that truth, then they won't be able to come into the truth. They have to be able to accept the fact that they were wicked as hell, turned against God, broke his commandments, weren't keeping his commandments, being evil and wicked as hell, taken after the ways of the heathen. Simple as that. And he was punished for it. And they'd be like, and the real ones, they'd be like, show sure did. We show sure did. So... They're able to accept that truth. And all of you have to be willing to accept yours too. Shin, if you a so-called Chinese person, but your spirit bears witness to the fact that you're an Israelite of the spiritual birth, then guess what? You also have to accept the fact of what your people have done. Everybody got to do it, y'all. 
That's why it says no man is going to be able to boast. No race is going to be able to boast. Because we're all saved by grace. Even Israel is. God's elect chosen people. Even they're saved by grace. Y'all didn't read about Abba Yaz, a man of war. It is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. Y'all didn't read that? Most High don't be playing. He said, I will wipe Israel out and start a new nation. He said, if, if, if I kill all these people, the rocks are still going to crowd and give me praise. <laughs> don't play with the king. And he's putting everything under his foot. So what he did is he chose an elect that he wants to bring this truth so that he will be glorified in his father. Just like he did with Yahusha. He's going to choose his elect people. The same people that you enslaved. Can't you see? He's the one that's telling you how to get how to rebuild your temple. How ironic is that? Because wasn't his temple torn down? Wasn't his name taken away? His heritage, the skin ripped from his back, forced to be a slave, forced to be less than a man, his identity ripped away, made into cattle, worked on the field without pay, treated less than human. And here I stand, knowing who I am, strong, bearing all the scars with great joy, counting it all joy because I've been made perfect in love. And now my chakras are fully in line and I wear a coat of many colors. Therefore, I can tell you how to do it. All praises to the most high Abba Yah, who reigns with power and love and wisdom above. Who could do something like who could do a thing like this? Who could restore that way? A broken people with nothing and restore them back to royalty, to their throne. All glory and praise to the king, Abba Yah. All praise and glory to the king and to his son, Yahusha. All praise and glory. So do you want to rebuild your temple today? To bring it back into alignment? To bring it out of the lies that it's been in? So that the light will beam down into you and activate those seven chakras of the body and your coat will shine? Come back home, Israel, from all of the four corners and winds of this earth. Come back home to the truth now. It is high time that you awake out of your sleep, Israel. Silawam, Israel.